Hi to everyone that's on a verge of a breakdown and clicked on this video because you think journaling is going to save your life. Well, uh, I guess it's not, but if you want to see me try different types of journaling and maybe get a sense of hope out of it, welcome to this video. <laughs> Must go. Hi, this video is going to be about me testing different types of journaling because I need something in my life. That's not therapy because it costs a lot to fix me. That's it. That's what I'm searching for today. And <laughs> okay, I'm joking, but I, I'm just curious about journaling and I want to see which ones are there, which one works best for me, if any of them work. So start with the video. That's it. The different types of journaling that I'm going to try are dream journal, which it speaks for itself. It's a journal where you write your own dreams and that's it then a gratitude journal which is a journal where you express your gratitude towards everything then a personal junk journal this is what i do it's when you feel frustrated and you want to just get it out of you uh you just write your own shit a poetry journal which I thought you were supposed to write poetry in it, but no, you're supposed to read poetry and then describe how they make you feel and also wh why you like them, you know? Then we have a productivity journal, which is more like you make to-do lists, you focus on your priorities and why are they your priorities and basically it's a motivation type of thing. Not only motivation, but more resilience and that, and that type things yeah next one is what i wish my life was pray rain journal right this is basically you writing your own future so you write how you want your future to be as if it has already happened yeah it's kind of a more manifestation thing <laughs> last one that i'm gonna try is letter journal which is basically just you writing a letter to someone it could be you it could be your future self it could be anyone and you write it to yourself. I mean, you could show someone the letter that you wrote, but it's more for yourself. These are the types of journaling that I'm going to try. And then I'll come up with the ratings for myself. Yeah. Okay, uh, the first type of journaling that I'm going to try is a dream journal. Because I had some pretty interesting dreams today. And they were repetitive. I had different dreams, but they all kind of end up the same way so i want to write about them because maybe they're telling me something that i don't know yeah <laughs> so let's write <laughs> so when i searched for this type of journaling i found out that it's basically just a list five things you are grateful for and uh some people just do that and others uh try to justify why they feel grateful for those things so for example i feel grateful for my house because it gives me comfort because i can be there on the coldest nights and be cozy you know i feel like you're gonna see more benefits of this type of journaling if you continue doing it daily or at least like three four times a week but with the only time that i did it which was today i think this should be a thing that you implement uh at least a few times a week in your journaling practice i don't think it should be the only type of journaling that you do i don't think it's enough i mean not that it's enough of course it's enough if you only want to do gratitude journaling do it but for me <laughs> it's not enough I think it's not enough to improve myself because yes, I'm kind of searching for a way to improve myself and the control of my emotions with journaling. That's basically what I want <laughs> from journaling. And I feel like this uh, type of journaling is really good for that, but it needs to be done with some other type. I feel like it cannot be alone. So letter journaling. I think because it's Valentine's Day, I'm gonna write a letter to someone I love. Yeah, that's it. That's gonna be my journaling for the day. So the journaling type that I did today was the personal junk journal, which is 
what I mostly do uh, right now, from time to time, I just put all my stuff, all the things that I have in my head on paper and I feel like it helps me, but, but I think if you do it alone, it can become quite negative because when you write a personal junk journal like every day or a few times a week, what happens is you only focus on the negative parts of your day and I don't think that's, that's great, you know? So I love this type of journaling. I do it. <laughs> it was the only one that I did before doing this video and I will continue doing it, but I want to implement something along the personal junk journal. So let's imagine that one day I'm like really tired, something happened, I am struggling emotionally, then I do this type of journaling and at the end I'll have like maybe a more positive type, so like gratitude journaling. Okay, hi! I'm in this corner of my living room today because we're gonna do poetry journal. But I have an issue with this one. I don't read poetry. I don't know why, it's just something that I don't read. And I have no poems in my mind that I think, oh yeah, that's a good poem, I love that. So I'm gonna find some poets on the internet, I'm gonna be searching for them, and then... <laughs> Then we'll see which ones I like, and then I'll try to justify it. So, a uh, poetry journal. I loved it just loved it. I was not expecting it. I'm just now realizing that I actually like poetry. I just don't like to read a whole book with poems in it. I like to read maybe three poems at once, digest them, and then think about them, and never read poems again for like weeks, and then read them again. So yeah, that's my relationship with poems from now on. <laughs> and I don't know, I think you should really try this one. I don't think it's that common, so try it. I'm going to continue doing this type. So I did the pre rain journal. I just didn't document it because I was at a shopping mall and I just wanted to journal and I was scared of filming. Like so I did it and I don't know I feel like a manifestation queen you know. <laughs> For this journaling style I couldn't find a lot about it so I just grabbed my thick agenda and made it to do list. Yeah, I didn't check all those marks, but I really think this is the most like beneficial type of journaling because it's productive. You check all the things that you want to do throughout the day, so it changes your day, literally. But it is not really great for the emotional part of journaling. I mean, if you want to write because you want to deal with your emotions and everything, this one doesn't do anything for that, but it helps you have a more productive day, which is amazing. These are my readings. I'm ranking this in terms of the fun that I had doing it and the actual probability that I will do it often, you know? So yeah, my top one is Poetry Journal. I don't know why, I really liked it. I feel like it helps you get in touch with your deeper emotions that you don't know about and helps you understand yourself better, so I think that's journaling for me, that's what I want from it. This is the video, and we're done.